The more time I spend in supermarkets, the more I realize and understand why everyone is so unhealthy. I mean, when I was carnivore, I would just go to a local farm, pick up some beef, and that's all I would eat. And when you have one food, there's not much to worry about. But if you follow a normal omnivore diet, everything is filled with so much crap. You know, you have three main concerns oxidized omega-6 seed oils and just omega-6 in general is inflammatory to the body you have the agrochemical concern especially if it's not organic herbicides pesticides fungicides all that stuff and then you have chemical preservatives natural flavors and things that are added to it and this applies to all food across the board but when i looked through you know the average protein energy bar selection in the grocery store i was shocked that I couldn't find one thing that I wanted to consume. And it didn't become like, oh, what's the most nutritious or healthiest food? It became, which bar isn't going to poison me? And if you guys missed it the other week, we launched the best bar. And uh, this was just an idea I had off the top of my head uh, to replace our pemmican because you know we were having a very difficult time drying the beef we didn't have the ovens, it was too labor intensive. So I said, hey, what if we replace the dried beef with whey protein powder? Is there a high quality grass fed whey protein? And that's what ended up happening. So it looks really similar to our past pemmican. You know, we have grass fed Wagyu beef tallow in here. We have grass fed whey protein, raw honey, salt, and whatever flavoring we're using. So the vanilla just has organic vanilla bean powder. It's five ingredients total. You cannot find any processed food in the supermarket that only has five ingredients, let alone a protein bar. Most of these are around, you know, 20, 30, 40 ingredients. And then, you know, for the berry, it's six or seven ingredients because we have a mix of berries, uh, blueberry, strawberry, and raspberry. And the chocolate, as with the vanilla, has vanilla bean powder in it, but it also has chocolate added. The vanilla adds a little bit of complexity. So definitely check out Frankie's Range Foods. The bars are the highest quality. They're delicious. They're priced about the same as all of these other bars. You know, we didn't want to go cheaper because the ingredients are so much better, so much higher quality. It's minimal. There's nothing negative in it. And per calorie, it's actually cheaper than some of these bars. And, you know, I was expecting coming into this doing like a health comparison, but it's probably going to realistically be a flavor comparison as I went through the ingredients and looked at all of these bars and... <laughs> It doesn't come close. We can't even remove the negatives from these protein bars, let alone have some positive nutrition. And just in the whey protein alone, the B vitamin content, the mineral content is so high, it blows any of these bars out of the water from a nutrition standpoint. Plus you have some fat soluble vitamins from the tallow and it's not inflammatory because there's no crap in it. Uh, so let's go through the bars I have here what I purchased and explain why they're not the best choices. You guys like my mom's Christmas decorations? Uh, this is actually me, my brother, and my sister uh, when we were babies. Uh, some of you might not know I'm actually a triplet, so that's me, uh, my sister, my brother. I think we were eating cake or something. Our faces were like covered in sugar. But onto the bars. Uh, so we offer berry, chocolate, and vanilla. So what I tried to do was find berry, chocolate, and vanilla in the supermarket. And another thing is, these people can't shoot straight with their flavors. Vanilla almond, vanilla almond latte, vanilla almond, vanilla shortbread. Uh, what is this? Chocolate sea salt is probably the plainest one here. Chocolate peanut, dark chocolate mocha, fudge brownie, uh, mixed berry, which is actually similar to ours, blueberry muffin, mixed berry with acai. So, you know, if you go to the market, you can't find just like a vanilla bar. There was like one only chocolate bar. And the reason I have, you know, RX bar, oat mega, cliff, and collagen for chocolate and vanilla, you know, four and four, but I don't have those for this is because they didn't offer a berry flavor. So, you know, the flavor combinations aren't really that approachable. And I was very surprised to see that there wasn't just like a basic flavored bar. Isn't that what people want? The marketing on these bars is clearly trying to be healthy, but we don't see a USDA organic label. And even though we don't have that label on the best bar, we know the quality of the ingredients we're using going into this are chemical herbicide free 
and we are using some organic ingredients. Uh, you know, the berry powders, the vanilla bean, anything that's not animal based, we're making sure it's organic. So let's start with why the RX bar is no good. And all of these RX bars, as with most of these, have a very similar base ingredients, except the RX bar is pretty much identical. It's three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and then it has added flavorings and natural flavors. So, you know, for the berry, it has some berry powders and natural berry flavors. For the chocolate, it has cacao powder and some natural chocolate flavor. Uh, for the vanilla, it has um, some vanilla bean and some natural vanilla flavor. And if this was organic, this wouldn't be that bad. But, you know, since you have conventional egg whites, we have estrogen concerns from atrazine, agrochemicals, almonds and cashews, high omega-6, probably sprayed with crap. Same thing with the dates. So, so just that the RX bar isn't organic and that it's kind of high omega-6, that throws it out the window. That being said, I think it's better than all the other bars here. Sadly, you know, it's still not something I would consume, but it's definitely better than the other bars here. Uh, so let's move on to the Oat Mega. And, you know, when you look at the ingredient list on these bars, it is uh, kind of shocking. And um, this one isn't actually that bad because they do have grass-fed protein, but then they put like chicory root fiber, peanuts, vegetable glycerin, tapioca syrup, and keep in mind, this isn't organic stuff. So this is, you know, sugar, regular conventional white sugar is going into this oat mega bar that's being marketed as healthy. It's kind of crazy. Sunflower oil, and it's not even high oleic sunflower oil, so it's super high omega-6. Natural flavor chemicals, <laughs> responsibly caught fish oil, and as we spoke about about two weeks ago, you know, most fish is poison, and I would be very concerned, especially with tilapia oil. Rice flour, I mean, look, it's high omega-6, it has chemicals, it's probably full of toxins, especially it's not organic. This, you know, hey, they might have some DHA and protein and omegas in here, so at least you're getting something slightly beneficial, but you're halfway poisoning yourself in the process. And that's the chocolate peanut bar. And the vanilla almond bar has a very similar base of ingredients. So, you know, the whey protein, vegetable glycerin, the, the, the ingredients are very, very, very similar, except they'll just add a different flavor, as we do with our bars. So moving on to the Cliff bar, this is substantially worse than the ones we just looked at. You know, even though they are using a lot of organic ingredients, which is removing some agrochemical concerns, <laughs> they're just using the worst stuff possible brown rice syrup oats soy protein sugar soybeans rice flour soy flour oat fiber it, it's just all crappy ingredients yes they're organic but it's all like grains and processed seed oils so uh cliff bar very clever marketing but not a good ingredient list and the reason I ranked the Cliff Bar above the Bulletproof Collagen Bar is because, yeah, these are really, really, really crappy ingredients, but this is literally all chemicals, basically. So the organic cashew butter is high omega-6. It's bad. At least it's organic. That being said, hydrolyzed collagen, inulin, XCT oil powder, brain octane. Most of the ingredients in this are highly processed chemicals. You know, at least you can kind of tell with the other bars <laughs> where it came from, but you know, what's inulin, what's hydrolyzed collagen, what's XCT oil powder, what's brain octane oil, all of that stuff requires, you know, very involved chemical processes that, that are not good. So this is definitely low on the list because we have concerns about all of those chemicals and solvents, hexane, who knows, used in processing you know, the dozens of ingredients that go into that. For the chocolate and vanilla, that's why all of these bars are bad. And since we couldn't find, you know, berry versions of these three, we have a Lara bar, which actually doesn't look bad from an ingredient perspective. If this was organic, I'd eat it. You know, this is great. Cashews, dates, apples, blueberries, vanilla extract. Yeah, I mean, if you did like macadamia nuts or something lower in omega-6 and all this stuff was organic, this is actually not bad. And, and, and if you ate this, it wouldn't be completely horrendous for you. Honestly, I would even rank this above the RX bar. I would say out of all the bars here, this one is going to cause the least amount of problems. It's basically just a little bit of omega-6 and some sugar from fruit. Healthwarrior.com. Let's see how healthy it is. Chia seeds, cashew butter, brown rice syrup. We're seeing a theme here. These must be 
ingredients that are available at very cheap commodity prices, you know, brown rice, chicory root, that type of stuff. Uh, so this is actually pretty horrible from an ingredient perspective. It's basically oxidized omega-6 with some sugar, possibly some other rancid grains, and then they put in, you know, preservatives and more chemicals. Uh, but let's get to the exciting part. Let's taste each of these bars and see if they come close to ours. You know, I think I'll take out all the bars and put them on top of the wrapper. Uh, just so we, we see what they look like. Just one quick note, the reason we're using these silver wrappers for the best bar is because, you know, we sold a lot really quickly and we ran out of the white ones, but uh, moving forward, it will be packaged in this color. And I mean, this is kind of interesting. Uh, you know, the RX bars look fairly similar. The colors are changing a little bit. Uh, the Lara bar and this bar are kind of unique on their own. This one has like a crazy amount of seeds in it. Omega bars look the same except for the color uh, same with the cliff bars the color is just different and then the, the bulletproof bullshit bars are same look color is just different as with our bars you know our berry bar has a slight like pinkish tint to it our chocolate bar is brown and the vanilla bar is like vanilla cream beige colored just so this doesn't take too long i'm going to taste you know the three berry bars taste the best berry bar and then i'll let you know for that flavor what my thoughts are on each bar. Oh man, that's horrible. Oh, that's bird food, man. For the berry, we had the RX bar, the Lara bar, the Health Warrior bar, and of course our best bar. I actually do kind of like the flavor on the RX bar. It's really, really sweet from the dates. That's probably why I like it. But it's really chewy and sticky and it sticks to your teeth. The Lara bar, it wasn't as sweet as the RX bar. It had more of that cashew, that nut flavor. And the texture wasn't as sticky, but you know, the texture is still kind of chewy. And the Health Warrior bar was the one I kind of freaked out at. It's just the initial texture and taste with all of those chia seeds. It's kind of gross, uh, but then as you chew it and get the flavor, the flavor isn't that bad. It's not that sweet. The best bar isn't as sweet as the RX bar. It's about as sweet as the other bars. But the reason I like it so much is the texture, it's like cake. It falls apart in your mouth and you don't have to chew it. Like this RX bar is getting like stuck in my teeth. I'm like, you know, chewing 20 times. This literally just falls apart in your mouth. It melts and you can swallow it very quickly. The texture on these bars is what I think sets them apart from all of the other companies. And the flavor is very mild, complex, enjoyable. It's not super sweet. If people want a candy bar, we can definitely <laughs> add more honey to it. Uh, so let me move on to the chocolate. Oh my God, who buys this shit? Oh man, fuck. How the fuck is this on the shelf? As much as I love talking shit about these companies because, you know, the owners aren't that tasteful in their marketing, this bar is horrible. Objectively horrible. That's the Bulletproof bar. As with the berry bars, the RX bar is definitely the sweetest, and honestly, out of the competition, I think the RX bar wins again. It has a pretty solid chocolate flavor. It's not as chewy as the berry bar, and it's pretty sweet. The Oat Mega bar, like you could tell it's like a, a chocolate chewy granola bar. It's kind of bland, and it has like a slight funky off taste. I'm assuming it's because they put fish oil in it, but it's not bad. It doesn't taste good. The Cliff Bar wasn't bad either. I like the RX Bar a little more, uh, but the Cliff Bar had that coffee flavor, which was actually pretty enjoyable. And I would say people would probably go back and forth between the Cliff Bar and the RX Bar here on a taste preference perspective. What they certainly won't go back and forth on is this uh, bulletproof bullshit collagen bar. And the reason I kind of freaked out at this was because it was so dry, uh, which surprised me because it's like greasy on the outside. So they're not adding enough of something in here to uh, moisten it up a little bit. And the flavor isn't good. It, it, I don't really taste the chocolate. I taste kind of like chemicals. It's just not, not, not good. If people buy this bar, they'll never buy it again. The Cliff Bar, the RX Bar, I can see people buying it again because it tastes kind of okay. And the Oat Bar, maybe people would buy it again for because they think it's healthy. Now the Best Bar, although there is like that beef tallow taste up front. As you get into it, you get a balanced, you know, chocolate flavor. It's sweet. But overarching, guys, 
the texture of these bars is absolutely crazy because there's not really any fiber in here. You know, it's tallow, honey, and protein. So it, it just falls apart. You know, it breaks apart like, like that. You know, when you, I, I'll do that again. So, you know, if you break this bar apart, it breaks apart very easily like that. You know, if you try to take the RX bar and do that, it's stretching. I guess let's move on to vanilla. I kind of wish RX bar was organic because it actually tastes pretty good. And I think across the board, RX bar has done a pretty good job here. Uh, with their vanilla flavor, you get, you know, it's sweet. You have that vanilla punch up front. And overall, it's pretty balanced. Again, a little too chewy. I don't like how it sticks to my teeth. The vanilla oat mega bar is definitely better than the chocolate oat mega bar, but it still has an off flavor to it. I'm assuming that has to be the fish oil. Uh, this Cliff bar, you know, as with adding the, the mocha to the dark chocolate, here they have vanilla almond latte, so I feel like I'm at a breakfast cafe. Again, it doesn't taste bad. It, it's not really my thing. The collagen bar, it has that same awful, really dry texture, but, you know, I manned up, I chewed it a little longer, and I just taste like a little bit of nuttiness like cashew. So, again, it, it's not really sweet at all. And then uh, the vanilla best bar, again, we don't have the sweetest bar. It doesn't have, you know, the most upfront vanilla flavor because we use natural uh, vanilla bean as opposed to like artificial flavorings. But overall, the texture, the flavor, the balance is crazy. And, and you guys have to try this bar just for the texture. You know, go to your local supermarket or make your own protein bar and then compare it to the texture of this bar. It's, it's so crazy. It's so literally like cake. I guess if you're in a supermarket, don't buy protein bars, uh, but I actually did see a brand called Cliff Z for kids that was certified organic that didn't have a horrendous ingredient list. You guys uh, might have seen that in my Trader Joe's shopping video, so maybe that's passable if you really want like a, a chewy sweet bar. Uh, you know, I, I would definitely stick to jerky or, or some other type of food if you have to pick something up from the market or, of course, get our best bars. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. You know, if you tried the bar, let me know what you think, how it is. Definitely leave a review. Uh, let us know where you think we can improve if that's the case. Uh, but outside of that, you can check out frankiesfreerangefoods.com for the best bars as well as whey protein, nature's glucose, cooking fats, and of course frank-stefano.com uh, for anything else that you guys would need. Thanks again for joining me, uh, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Don't forget to Leave Frankie Boy a comment down below, like the video, uh, subscribe so that you can be unsubscribed next week.